his experiences in the job in the work and in the workplace and the rest of it all just a brief explanation of himself you choose long tails we now have another one we call the attachment attachment is when you want the person to attach a file like attach a picture attach a cv attach a pdf document attach a, a completed microsoft document whatever you want to attach this is the data type that allows you to put that for example you say please after filling this form click here to attach your cv simple and then when the person clicks on that very field automatically to prompt him up to attach his passport or a cv in a form and this is submitted directly into the company's database table then we have our hyperlink the hyperlink that you're seeing here is a link that you use to link a text to an online document or an offline document if the software or i mean if the database is going to be accessed online when someone clicks on this hyperlink found on that form or on the table boom it takes the person flies him off the environment that he finds himself and moves him straight to a website or an online document so that is it for hyperlink for example in while designing a form he said please click here to learn more on let's say you ask someone a question like this in your last job experience what lessons did you learn okay the person may be confused what kind of lessons are you asking for you now create a small button ask him to click here to learn more about the kind of lessons you should have learned in your job experience so what we mean by this question that one is part of it or you may just let's just use a field like you ask somebody to please provide your security number yeah security number many of us doesn't know what a security number means so when someone stumbles into such form and finds such a field to be filled what will he do you have to provide a link a hyperlink button where the person will click to learn more about what security numbers mean so in that link it will be like click here to learn what the security number is when the person clicks there it automatically displays that the security number is those number 11 digit number found in your international passport or which other passport security passport you have that's it and then calculated fields calculated fields are very sensitive fields you need to count how many characters appears in them can be text numbers currency yes or no or dates and time then paste the field paste as a field is if you copy the field i want to paste it simple then let's start from the beginning you have the short text short text can be used for your name or whatever just the same thing you can use this rich text for but when the rich the difference between rich text and short text is a rich text allows you to add some editing like italics bold and the rest on the line to any field you have created with it using this why the short text is very simple text you can use it to input your name and uh, whatever then here we have the numbers numbers here is just good simple numbers or long, long numbers like phone numbers or just your your age then we have currency where you put your for your money there's a your Digi monitor digits if you want to ask someone uh, please provide how much you earn per month you have to the person have to type how much there automatically the field will convert it to the local currency whether dollar or naira then date and time is where you input a calendar option the person can click and select from a calendar the exact date of, or month that you want me to choose then yes or no is a logic logic field it allows the person to choose whether yes or no click good or uncheck check or uncheck then look and look up and relationship that one is if you are looking up something that link to something for example we are using a select option select whether you are from nigeria or another country that's a, your country please you give him a list to select from that's look and relationship that's where you create that select your sex you give him a list of sex male female and the person can choose one from there you have the, this is what where, where you create that so now let's move back to where we were before and create one we want to design just a very simple form for students registration and this is it i want to use the first one short text and that is going to be 
student name student name then i want another one it's going to be another text sorry 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 this one is not it i will click on it here double click first one is student's name the second one is a uh, I want to put a person's sex, so and uh, I've already gone it, done it on four, on too far, too fast. I mean, so you right click on top of it and delete that field. Go back and click on add new field. Click on look up field. It's coming. I will provide. It will ask you this wizard creates a look out field, which displays a list of values you can choose from. How do you want your look out field to get its values from? First option is I want the lookout field to get the values from another table or query. That's not true. I don't have another table found in this system for that purpose. So I want to create a new value for it. So I'll click on the second option and click on next. What I want to create here is female and male. Then click next and type the name that should be there. It's gender. I will just say gender. And click finish so it's asking me to save the name of this table the name of the table is student underscore registration so and I click on ok then the next after that is date of birth I want to select the date and time option and put date of birth then after that I want to now include the child's phone number I will now click on numbers number so when you just simply put number will it work it's a very big question will it work let's find out if it will work go to your number filter and then this option is not available here or they may have changed it to a different place i have not been able to find out and we'll come back to that we'll type a phone number and confirm how it works so then the next after that is your city you put your state and then your country i'm using the same short text for this purpose so now let's start filling our table what's it you make it square spaced the line the borderline in between these two columns drag it to the right stretching it likewise this one so that the text found inside them will be, will be very very clear so now the first person i'm want, i want to register is Anne. and the sex is female you see how this thing works very simple and then date of birth i will have to click this calendar she was born on 24th of may 2024 and then her phone number is 080 that is you have six already seven eight nine ten eleven so let's see if it will keep it for us you see it has bounced back why because we need to declare that this is a phone number see it the value you entered isn't valid for this field for example you may have entered text in a numeric field or number that is larger than the field set settings permit so the only solution we have here is to change the field set set permit and how do we do that Go straight to your data type. We want to. Wow, this thing has changed a lot. Well, we'll find a way out. Find a way out. This is number. And I want to make it not an integer, but double. Number filter. Number filter. This is not what I'm looking for. Okay. And right click on this place look for my wow 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 this is not funny so let's delete it and then we are going to reinsert it 